Now, the head teacher of Naigomba Seed Secondary School in Buse Vatia Town Council, Bugweri District, is currently on the run over abuse of office. Siraji Magola reportedly withdrew over 20 million shillings that was intended for the capitation grant and used it for his personal business. Siraj Magola was initially arrested by Sniffer Dog after claiming that the money was stolen from his office. After bringing the canine, uh, of course the canine tracked up to where he was sleeping and part of the, part of the money was found under, I think, uh, the mattress. So it was picked with the police up to the CPS of Idudi. However, upon reaching at Idudi Central Police Station, the suspect disappeared from school after being released on police bond. Uh, when I told him yesterday that please, you're not supposed to be here with us, he, he disappeared. In fact, even today, early in the morning, I was here waiting for him because uh, I was supposed to get him and also uh, charge him of uh, s staying at the facility and yet he has a, a criminal case with the police. This incident follows the recent theft of 18 computers from the same school, leaving students vulnerable in their computer studies. We bande tamu someroli no naringa baba mu computer kumi na munana nezibula amuntu jeba kuata neba muwe chivoni rezo cha kujia kusawa kukumakubo eye na kune tu kuata. Computers of 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 course uh, the the case was there even registered at the police station. But my dismay, I think uh, the, the, the suspect again was released. During a local accountability meeting held at Makutu sub-county Bugweri district, the office of the Prime Minister directed the interdiction of the suspect. <laughs> The outcome for However, local leaders believe that the suspect is being protected by influential politicians within the district. This head teacher we are talking about is a brother to the district chairperson. When he was interdicted and even he, the other DC resolved to evict him from office, the chairperson here C5 uh, influenced uh, the other departments like the office of the cow, the office of the EEO, and, and then he came back in the office in an unknown manner. How can a headmaster steal school money for himself and you say, well, he's on interdiction? That one must go straight to jail. And then sometimes you get somebody who is not delivering, he's transferred to another place. So the people they are transferring to are not Ugandans. The Bugweri District Security Committee has declared the suspect wanted, requesting the central government for his immediate transfer. Meanwhile, local leaders are demanding for a new head teacher and board, emphasizing that the school cannot operate without them. Joseph Oko, UBC.